Hey, I'm Dr. Stephanie Young-Moss. I'm a pharmacist and a menopause educator. And welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's near and dear to my heart, and that's menopause. But don't worry, we're gonna break it down into an easy way to understand, even if you don't have a medical background. So tell a friend that needs to hear this information and let's go ahead and get started. First things first, what exactly is menopause? Well, it's a natural phase in a woman's life when her menstrual says goodbye and makes a dramatic exit. But it's not just about goodbye to periods. There's a whole symphony of hormonal changes going on behind the scenes. Menopause actually happens in three stages. There's perimenopause, menopause, and postmenopause. Think of it as a three-act play where your hormones steal the spotlight. Let me walk you through each act. First, perimenopause, act one, the prelude, or also known as the prelude to menopause. This is when your body starts to prepare for the big finale. Your hormones like estrogen and progesterone can become a bit unpredictable. You might notice changes in your menstrual cycle, like irregularity or occasional surprise guest appearances. Hot flashes might make you feel like you're in the tropics and mood swings might have you singing the blues. Act two, menopause, the main event. This is when you haven't had a period for an entire year. It's like the grand finale of your reproductive years. Estrogen takes a step back and progesterone starts to decline as well. These hormonal changes can bring about various symptoms like hot flashes, night sweats, sleep disturbances, and even the occasional memory lapse. Next, there's postmenopause, also known as the after party. It's a party because life is not over, but congratulations, you've made it through menopause. In this stage, your hormone levels have settled down and your body is adapting to a new normal. But don't be surprised if you still experience some menopause-related symptoms. They won't just disappear or go away overnight. Now, let's talk about those hormonal changes that occur during menopause. Estrogen, which is the star of your reproductive years, takes a back seat. This can have various effects on your body. It can impact your reproductive system, leading to changes in your menstrual cycle and vaginal dryness. It can also affect your bones, making them more prone to osteoporosis. And yes, it can even mess with your skin, which can cause dryness and changes in your elasticity. All right, that was a whirlwind tour of menopause. Remember, it's a natural phase of life and every woman's experience is unique. If you're finding your symptoms challenging, don't hesitate to reach out to your healthcare provider. There are various treatments and lifestyle changes that can help you navigate this transition with grace. Many people don't realize that perimenopause can start as early as your mid-30s or it can start in your 50s as well. Many women experience these symptoms and don't realize that they're experiencing perimenopause. Their hormones start to fluctuate, their cycle starts to change, they may have some mental health disorders that pop up that they had got under control, and they don't realize that this could actually be perimenopause. So many times we're waiting for the hot flash to occur, but that may not be the first thing that you see. You could experience things such as mood swings, anxiety, depression, and if you've been diagnosed with any of these mental health disorders in the past, there is a more likely chance that this could pop up again during perimenopause. For example, if you've had obsessive compulsive disorder or OCD in the past and you've gotten it under control, you could possibly see it start to exacerbate or become worse during perimenopause because of those hormonal changes. So it's important to talk to your healthcare provider and discuss any of these changes that may occur. Some women even see signs and symptoms such as cardiac issues. Heart palpitations could occur as well. 
That is another reason why you should talk to your healthcare provider and let them know if you're experiencing any of these changes just to rule out other causes. These are only a few of the signs and symptoms that you can see with perimenopause. If you go to my website, I actually have a guide that can help you get the conversation started with your healthcare provider. It lists the signs and symptoms of perimenopause so that you can let them know exactly what you're experiencing and you can rule out other things as well. Many people are surprised to see that they may be experiencing signs and symptoms of menopause because we've made the age of menopause seem so much later in life. However, the average age of menopause in black women is 49 and the average age in white women is 51. So it can happen a lot sooner than you think. Thank you for joining me today and I hope you found this overview helpful. If you have any questions, I have past videos that talk more about symptoms and I also have some videos coming up as well. Leave me a comment and let me know what topics you'd like to discuss. So don't forget to enjoy your journey and embrace it because life doesn't end with your period. And make sure to share, like, and subscribe and share this with a friend that also needs to hear this. So thank you so much for spending your time with me today and I look forward to hearing from you in the future.